What's up everybody? This is IFBB Pro Santi Aragon and I'm here with Muscle and Strength and I'm gonna take you through my three favorite aesthetic chest building exercises. So for the first chest exercise to build an aesthetic big old barrel chest, first step of this exercise is to pick an appropriate weight. You want to start a little bit lighter before you get into your heavier movements just so that you can get used to this style of press. I pick a incline bench for this movement and when I roll back with the dumbbells, you're gonna see that I'm gonna start in a normal fly movement, but as I'm pressing the weight up, you're gonna see that my pinkies are gonna start coming inward to squeeze the chest. And as I'm coming back down, I'm gonna be rotating them back again in a fly movement. Here we are in the fly movement. I'm gonna press up and I'm gonna rotate my pinkies. What this is gonna do is this is gonna squeeze the chest and as I'm rotating back down, I'm in a, another, I'm in a press movement right here and this is stretching out my pecs. So I'm coming up, rotating, squeezing, opening up, opening up and I'm stretching. So not only can you press some pretty heavy weight because this is a hybrid press movement, but you're also utilizing the squeeze if it was a fly movement too. So you're kind of getting best of both worlds on this movement. Exercise number two for an aesthetic chest is gonna be a fly movement. The difference between this fly movement and any other fly movement that we do is gonna be the way that we're gonna be doing each rep. It's gonna be a holding, a pause, at the uh, top of the movement, and then it's gonna be descending slowly back to the bottom, keeping constant tension on the muscle group, and then coming back and again pausing at the very top. Another difference between this and any other fly movement is that I'm gonna concentrate on bringing the bar much higher on my chest versus right in the middle part of my chest. The reason why I do this is because if you look at any of the classic guys Back in the 80s and 90s, you could see how crazy their upper chest was. And I really do believe that any type of upper chest movement is going to hit the mid and the bottom part of your chest. And the hardest part to build is the upper part of the chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate this movement for you. Standing, very comfortable. I'm gonna come up top, and you can see how I'm squeezing up. I'm just gonna. See, I'm squeezing upwards. I'm not down, my elbow's not down. It's actually kind of up so that I can put more stress on the top part of my chest. Chest is up, so here we go. We're gonna pause at the top. Boom, one, two, three, come down. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. I'll do this for about 12 to 15 reps. And at the very end, when I can't do any more, I blast out about five regular sets. This is gonna be uh, something that's going to be focusing on the lower part of the chest. And I choose this as the final exercise because we're gonna be doing a finishing uh, type set here, which is gonna be extremely high reps. So what I usually do is I'll pick a weight that I think I can handle, and I'll just feel it, I'll touch the weight. If I'm ready and I think I can handle it, the goal is to go to 50. So it's very basic. This machine pretty much tells you where you need to go. And the key is that at the top of the movement, you're making sure that you're squeezing, just like any other chest movement. This particular movement at the end of your chest routine is not gonna require three or four sets like a standard movement. This is gonna be a touching, so you're gonna see if you can handle the weight, and then it's gonna be one all-out set of 50 repetitions. And there you have it. Those are my three favorite chest exercises. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe below.